Hello, my name is Tarek and today we will discuss about linked list data structure. In the previous lecture, we saw the list data structure, we implemented the data structure and we implemented few operations. We implemented the list data structure using array. But there are some limitations with the array that we will discuss today. And we will also discuss that how linked list can help us in eradicating those problems and how can linked list be helpful in our daily life or in our in, in our programming problems. It's a very interesting data structure which works on the references, the pointers, and you must you already knew about uh, object references when we create an object a reference is created to maintain its scope to maintain its visibility so let's start with the link, link list data structure and see how this can be helpful in our programming life so so here are some areas limitation uh, let's see here, here is an array and what we did in our last lecture was we maintained the array uh, in order to implement the list data structure. We had an array and we used to insert elements in in a, in a ordered format and indexes were there to help us accessing in order to access those arrays. So when we wanted to insert an element at index zero, what used to happen? we were shifting the elements of index 0 to index 1 so that we could create a space for a new element. So what we did, we moved the array element one index forward. So same with the removing the element. When we, when we want to remove an element, let's say if we want to remove this element 1 from this index 0, so after removing this element, we have a blank space. Let's say if I remove, sorry. Let's say if I remove this. So now here we have a blank uh, element, a blank space, a null space. So in order to maintain the integrity, in order to maintain the uh, list properly, what we did, we used to shift the other elements one step backward from index, z from index one we used to shift our element to index 0. So for doing this, we uh, so this is a very expensive or very costly operation because let's see, suppose if we have an element, if we have an array of 10,000 elements and we are, we want to add an element in, at index 0 or at index 1, then we would have to move all 10,000 elements one step forward. So here is the picture in the case one. If you want to insert an element in index zero, we used to shift all the elements. And in order to delete it, we used to shift all elements from uh, right hand side to left hand side for deletion. And for addition, we used to shift it from left hand side to the right hand side. So this is a big problem for us when the array size is big and again the third case is let's suppose if the array is filled the all the elements of an array is filled up then what what the case will be then so in that case let's suppose here is an array which uh, uh, the, the total size of the array is 10,000 and all the elements uh, of the array are are filled up so we would have to create a new array in order to create a space for the new element to take to take place or to to adjust so this is a problem uh, which which will grow in if we keep on adding uh, elements to the list let's say if we have a, uh, a list of 10000 elements what about 20000 elements 50000 elements in that case the complexity will increase so the linked list can answer this problem in a very efficient manner. So how, how does the linked list look like? So here is our linked list. As you can see, 
there are five elements right now just to give you an, an example and the data is linked together data one has a reference of data two data two is referencing to data three and so on so here a data has two things or you can say the elements has two uh, uh, two things which the element is maintaining first is the is actual data whatever it can be it can be a string an integer uh, any object and second thing thing is the reference the reference to the next element so the first element is the head element and the last element is the tail element and we can uh, identify the last element that, uh, using its reference that the last element should be pointing to a null reference now let's add an element to this linked list let's see how this operation can be performed is that a costly operation or um, an easy operation to do let's say this is a new element and let's name it uh, new data i want to insert this element in this linked list after the element 2 and before the element 3 which means i want to insert it between data 2 and data 3 so how can i do this so for in order to add an element at this position i'll have to move this reference pointing towards new data so this reference will now be pointing to new data so i'll have to change its uh, i'll have to, i have just changed the pointer from pointing to towards a new data and the new data will point towards data 3 so let's say let's copy this uh, pointer and now this will be pointing towards this um, let's change this uh, it's more appropriate now so okay and we have added a new element to the list there is not any shifting of elements from left hand side to right hand side or right hand side to left hand side we just change the references and we have added an element to the list in the same way we can remove the data from the list and in that case also there is there, there is no shifting of elements so let's suppose if we, if we want to delete the data for i want to delete this uh, element so what i'll do i'll just change this reference towards right now it's referencing to the data four now this will be referencing towards the data 5 so what will happen and now this will be referencing towards this and data 4 will not be referencing towards any element so it's you can say uh, it's referencing like it's referencing towards null element and we'll assign this reference to a null so now we have removed the link and element from the list so this is how the linked list works uh, this is this is the singly linked list you can say it's a singly linked list we have another type of list which we can we call it a doubly linked list we will see what the doubly, a doubly linked list is and this is the pictorial format this is was this was an introduction of the linked list in the next lecture we will implement this linked list and we will see how can we do that thank you